it's me Jimmy a quick first subscribe to my channel and then the PlayStation 4 slim is coming in next year 2015 indeed yes if you are looking to buy the PlayStation 4 just hold on everybody you know the slim is always better than a fat ass PlayStation to be honest with you the best slim, slim PlayStation I ever like was the PS2 slim PS1 slim was good PlayStation 2 Slim was an awesome Slim which was a one of the best console design of all time in the history of mankind of gaming or whatever history you want to call it. PlayStation 2 Slim was awesome but when the PlayStation 3 Slim was announced I was so excited I just hop onto and left onto my computer I was on my way I just heard the news I took just my left arm from my backpack and then I just typed PlayStation 3 Slim basically one of my friends called it hey, Jimmy PlayStation 3 Slim is coming I was so excited when I found out no it was so ugly as hell but after that the PlayStation 3 the second Slim one again I was so excited but again it was it was truly like a bread bag or some kind of toaster who the hell care? PlayStation 3 have two slim, but both and the Xbox One came out with their slim. I don't know from which angle they was calling a slim. But this PlayStation 4 slim is going to be look like similar. 90% similar to PS2 slim. I'm not kidding. I'm not saying it will it will similar inside a little bit, it will bigger inside because PlayStation 4 have a uh, GPU is a little bit massive GPU you have to install the fan in it but after four years the PlayStation 4 slim can be same size as a PS2 slim at that point of time we, we will really don't require any dedicated GPU for such kind of gaming there will be a basically the AMD APU will be sufficient enough indeed yes indeed the next PlayStation 5 will just require the AMD APU they will never put a dedicated graphic card on it because dedicated graphic card really take a lot of space and then you are worried of the heating all that kind of crap so i'm not gonna talk about a playstation 5 basically i am already giving a tip out that playstation 5 is going to have a amd apu in it without a dedicated graphic card if you don't know what the hell is amd you apu just google it basically yes you are staying in the stone age if you really don't know amd apu or you are not a true geek or a gamer so back to the playstation 4 slim I did it on PlayStation 4. I was looking to buy PlayStation 4, but I have don't I really don't have any reason to buy PlayStation 4. I have Xbox One and then I play Xbox 360 and I'm a pro PC gamer. Of course I'm a PC gamer. I love PC gaming. PC gaming are I uh, heard of this time the PC gaming really really work. The new upcoming next gen game Assassin's Creed Unity. The minimum requirement is GTX 680. The minimum requirement of that game is of course everybody on PS4 and Xbox One is gonna suck. Basically, the same game on both console we are having 900 p Who the hell really wanna game on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One with a low resolution graphic? Nobody. So but why the hell I will buy the PlayStation 4 Slim? Just for Uncharted 4. I'm a big fan of Uncharted, really I love Uncharted. I will just buy my PlayStation 4 for that game only. Only one reason. But Uncharted 4 is not out, that's why I didn't buy PlayStation. By next year, of course, everybody know Uncharted 4 will be out. With the PlayStation 4 Slim will be out, and then I will buy the PlayStation 4 Slim. So if you are really spending money to buy the PlayStation 4, please hold your money. Everybody you know PlayStation 4 Slim will be look much better, much sexier. And then there are two toilet story. I read some rumors about it. The PlayStation 4 Slim is going to have a better CPU with a better graphic, and then there will be some exclusive games which can be only played on PlayStation 4 Slim, which cannot play on the current PlayStation 4. This strategy only work for Nintendo. Basically, Nintendo 3DS can come around every three to four years with a new Nintendo 3DS under the same branding. But for Sony, we are coming in every one year or two year with a new PlayStation 4, basically with the new CPU and GPU and then calling it a PlayStation 4 rather than calling it something like PlayStation 4S or 4 whatever.
no way of course i'm not gonna buy a playstation 4 to find out that every one or two years I, I need a new playstation 4 to play the exclusive game of the new gen really to be honest i i, I buy a console to stick up to five years so if you build a console just make games up to five years and then try to come with a new console ps2 was one of the best console we stick up to 10 years it was a revolutionary console no console ever ever no console has ever cut the sales of playstation 2 i would think nobody can ever because all of the guys are shifting down the game are shifting on the pc so please subscribe to my channel and then let's see what will happen and then what we have to see next year in 2015 for the playstation 4 slim and plus everybody you know xbox one slim is going to come xbox one is ugly as that it's a vcr I'm not saying it's so ugly, but the problem is that you cannot place it horizontally, you have to place it vertically. I, it's so hard to place my Xbox One vertically. Basically, I have to place my Xbox One on the speaker, basically with the Philips uh, speaker. Basically, I place my Xbox One on a subwoofer, which is a massive giant. And I place it, my Xbox One on top. Basically, I do not have any space where I should put my Xbox One. Basically, only I have to place it like a uh, flat vertically not horizontally it's a really pain in the ass of course everyone xbox one is going to come same so now just subscribe to my channel if you hate me just hit me if you like me just like me of course you cannot ignore me because i'm the geek i'm the true tech tech geek i'm the only one geek i'm on i'm only the one jimmy geek in the world it's me jimmy geek